Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing. Today I'm getting the chance to test the new Tor Edge Hot Launch C521 and E521 fairways. These two different fairways are designed to either be a little bit more draw bias or maybe designed to play a little bit straighter. So let's first talk about the details of the E521. So the E521 first has this Houdini soul. So the Houdini soul essentially lowers the center of gravity even further to make this club even more forgiving. It's going to make sure it reduces turf interaction and cause this ball to fly nice and high. The club face also is fairly shallow. Because it's fairly shallow, it's going to enable the ball to launch very, very high as well. This club I mentioned is a little bit more draw bias. So it still has quite a lot of offset at setup and also has weight in the heel. So very heel weighted golf club. So this one, as we're testing today, I'm going to expect will be a little bit easier to turn over and maybe hit a little bit higher. It does come in options of three, five, seven, and nine, and even an 11 wood. So if you're looking for a player that needs a little bit of help getting the ball up in the air, there's a lot of options with regards to fairy woods to get the ball up in the air. Comes with a Fabuki HD golf shaft from Ladies Flex all the way up to Stiff Flex and retails at 149. So this is a great option for a player looking to get the ball to go a little bit more draw bias. We also have the Tor Edge C521. So this club, Tor Edge has introduced the diamond face on. So previous Tor Edge models that have been a little more premium models have had the diamond face in the past, and that's going to increase that ball speed off the face a lot. Um, it also has this power channel. So this power channel on the bottom of the club is going to help with off-center hits. Catch a little bit low on the face. It's going to make sure the spin doesn't balloon up in the air. Um, looking down at it, much less offset. Very, very subtle amount of not much at all with regards to offset. So this is going to be designed to fly fairly straight. Be still be very, very forgiving, but it's not going to go quite as far left. Um, so this model comes with the Odilla Rogue from Ladies Flex up all the way up to Extra Stiff. It has a 3-wood, a 4-wood, 5-wood, and a 7-wood option. So it's a great option of that player. It's maybe trying to hit the ball a little bit straighter, but needs, still needs a little bit of help for God's forgiveness. So Tor Edge has got some great options here with the C521 and E521. I'm excited to compare the C521 and the E521 fairways, so I'm going to hit a few shots here and we're going to take a look at some data. If you love watching our channel, please remember, subscribe to our channel. There's a button down the bottom there. Really appreciate it. We've got plenty of great content coming your way. So I got a chance to hit five shots with the C521 and the E521. First thing, looking down at both these clubs, there is a very minimal amount of offset on the C521. So this club is not going to go as far left as, for instance, the E521 would. When I'm looking down at the E521, there is some pretty obvious offset looking down at this golf club. So this is designed to go a little bit further left. Uh, other things I can definitely notice is the C521 looks a little bit more compact, a little bit more smaller profile, where the E521 has got the Houdini sole, where it's going to, essentially the weight is even further back on, on the club here, um, which is going to make the club a little bit more forgiving and you know, possibly easy to get the ball up in the air. So let's kind of take a look first at dispersion. So we can first see the white circle with the C521. 
pretty good, pretty good shots right there. This is carry distance. So we can see carry distance going about 250 with the C521. Uh, you also notice a little bit straighter. So pretty much straight down the middle for the most part. There's one little bit further to the left. Very obvious that the E521 is a little bit further to the left. So that's that yellow circle. Notice how it was consistently over there to the left side. So that just kind of shows how much easier the E521 is to hit left than the C521 is. So I'm going to bring up the numbers really quickly on the screen. And then we're going to dive a little bit deeper and see what we can find out. So let's first start with club speed. My club speed with both of them were basically the exact same, 102 miles an hour. Um, actually slightly slower with the C521 by 0.2 miles an hour. So really nothing in it there at all. Ball speed, about the same, 152.7, 153.1. So very, very similar because of ball speed between the two of them. You notice the smash factor number at 1.50. Very, very efficient for a three wood. So very, very good. The big difference between these, these two clubs is spin and launch. So if we take a look here, the spin rate with the C521, basically 3000 RPM. So 2914 on average. The E521 was 4169. So over 1000 RPMs more spin with the E521 than the C521. You can see the launch angle as well. Launch angle 13.4 with the E521, 10.9 with the C521. So this Houdini sole, the way the center of gravity is pushed to the back, maybe a little more shallower club face, much easier to get this thing in the air. So if you've got a player that's got, maybe just have enough swing speed to get the ball up in the air, this is a great option. Uh, where the C521 just went nice and straight. Doesn't have as much offset on it. Just designed to kind of go pretty straight there as well. Um, carry distance, I was carrying the ball about 251 with the C C521 and 242 with the E521. Going about 254 with the E521. Because I had less spin with the C521, Bull rolled out further, so I hit about 275 on average, which is very, very good numbers for me with a with a three wood. Um, big difference for is to do with the offset is I was able to get my club face two degrees more closed with the E521 than the C521. My face angle was negative 1.9 with the E521. It was slightly open, 0 0.2 degrees open with the C521. So offset doesn't lie. It helps the player get the ball to go a little bit left. So definitely a draw more draw bias for wood. Um, so great option here by Torres to help get the ball to go a little bit further to the left there as well. Now there's a little bit different differences in the spin. So because there's a little bit difference in the spin and the launch, the C521 three wood's got 15 degrees left on it. The E521 doesn't have it printed on here, but I already looked at the specs. It's got 16 degrees of loft on it. So it is designed to fly a little bit higher because it's got a little bit more loft on the golf club there as well, um, but also designed to go left with the uh, weight in the heel, closed club face, offset. Great option for a player needing to get the ball to go a little bit left.